In the lesson, we showed how it's possible to work out the radius and surface brightness of a star, and we then said you can use that to measure the distance. In this worked example, we're actually going to go through how you measure that distance. So we have a star, some radius r, surface brightness s, and, and we know r and we know s. r from the transits as the eclipsing binary and s by comparing with a star of similar color in our own galaxy. So how can we work out the distance? Well what we will know is that we we'll use the inverse square law. The luminosity of the star is going to be its surface area times the surface brightness. And the surface area is just a sphere 4 pi r squared. We also know from the inverse square law that the flux we observe is equal to the luminosity over 4 pi d squared, where d is a distance to the star. So that's going to be 4 pi r squared s over 4 pi d squared. So the 4 pi's cancel. What we want is the distance. So let's bring the d up. So we end up with d squared equals r squared s over the observed flux. We know everything here. So we get that the distance is equal to the square root of both sides. So that's r times the square root of the surface brightness over the flux. Easy.